Okay, let's go ahead and tackle this nice little math word problem here. And this is a pretty typical type of problem that you would find in a course like pre-algebra or even Algebra 1. But to be honest with you, you don't even need Algebra to solve this problem. You could just kind of reason through it and figure it out. But anyways, let's go ahead and start this video off by actually reading the problem. It says, uh, Jen has three times as many shoes as her mom. Together, they, uh, they have 24 shoes. How many shoes does each have? So that is the question. And again, a lot of you that maybe uh, uh, forgot algebra or rusty in algebra, it doesn't make a difference. If you just think about this and use some common sense and maybe play around with some numbers, I'm pretty sure you could probably figure this out. But uh, anyways, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. But here's the deal. Okay, whatever, whenever you're doing mathematics, you need to justify your conclusions, okay? Now, of course, you can uh, watch this little video and figure this problem out like as a little uh, puzzle or riddle, but if you are a math student uh, and you're taking a quiz or a test, you just can't do a problem and put your answer down without some work to back that uh, answer up. So always uh, think in terms of justifying your conclusions when it comes to mathematics. But anyways, I'm going to solve this thing here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one moment. And then, of course, solve this. And I'll give you a little bit of a hint. I'm, I am going to use some basic algebra. But um Anyways, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching mathematics for decades. I absolutely love teaching mathematics. And I'm going to tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that struggle in math. Okay, If you're having a tough time with math, even if you failed math uh, in the past, all this can be turned around. Okay, Basically, you need three things. One, you need the desire to want to learn math. So you can't quit and you got to work hard. The second thing you need is encouragement. Hopefully, you have a great math teacher or someone kind of encouraging you to succeed. But the most important thing you need is great math instruction, clear effective, comprehensive, okay? It's math instruction you can actually understand. If you don't have math instruction that you're getting, well, you're just going to sit in the uh, classroom or maybe watch an online video and be confused, all right? So that's not going to help you out. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're getting ready for, things like the SAT, ACT, GED, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description uh, of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different uh, math courses, very comprehensive. It's taken me years to make these courses, by the way, that can help you reach your math goals. I'm also going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description, as well as so many students really don't take adequate enough notes. You want to make your notes super comprehensive, very, very detailed like as perfect as possible. If you focus on great note-taking, everything will get better for you in terms of mathematics. But in the meantime, you can use my notes if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer to this question. And here it is. So the number of shoes the mom has is six and the number of shoes Jen has is 18. So that is the answer. Okay, so how did you do? Well, hopefully you got this right, and if you did get this right, let me go ahead and reward you with a nice little happy face in A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars to celebrate your awesomeness with math word prompts. Now, if you didn't uh, get this right, don't be discouraged, okay? What you need is an approach to solve a problem like this, and this is a word problem. So when it comes to word problems, what is the first thing you need to do? Let's just kind of go back up here to the prompt. Well, you, I'm going to give you the first three steps, right? Step number one is to read the prompt. That's uh, pretty obvious, right? Step number two is to reread the problem. Okay, don't read the problem once. Read the problem twice to really make sure you got the information. And guess what? The third step is to read the problem one last time. You need to read these problems at least three times at a, at a minimum. But the third time you read the problem... Really make sure you understand what is being asked. And a great way to know where the question's at is just go where the question mark is in the problem and back up. So we want to know how many does each have, how many shoes does each person have, Jen and her mom. 
Okay, so once you really thoroughly understand the problem, now we need some techniques to solve this problem. And, uh, you know, math word problems typically follow pretty common patterns. So, of course, if you're, let's say you are right now taking a pre-algebra course or Algebra 1 course, it's probably a pretty good bet that you're going to have to use some algebra to uh, solve the problem. And that's what we're going to be doing here. So when you're using algebra to solve a word problem, we're going to have to use some variables like X and Y and things like that. And uh, before you even uh, start writing things down, after you thoroughly understand the problem, you want to try to model the situation. Sometimes you can do that with a sketch or some sort of graph or whatnot. But in this particular case, really can uh, that's not going to really help us out. So we need to start assigning some variables. So let's go ahead and assign some variables now. So we're going to let X uh, be equal to the number of uh, shoes the mom has. Okay, now I'm selecting X as the number of shoes the mom um, has, okay, because we're trying to solve for how many shoes. So whatever our variable is X or Y, it should represent some number of shoes. Now we're trying to uh, determine uh, the mom's number of shoes and Jen's number of shoes. So I'm going to let X equal the mom's number of shoes because it's pretty easy Therefore, to represent Jen's uh, number of shoes, as she has three times as many shoes as her mom. So if her mom has X shoes, then Jen has three times that many shoes, right? Which would be 3X. So uh, the mom's shoes is X. The number of mo uh, the shoes the mom has is X. The number of shoes uh, Jen has would be 3X. Okay, so once you've assigned some variables, we need a way to solve for these variables. And there's um, no other better way in terms of algebra to set up an equation. That's what your teacher wants. He said, okay, set up some uh, variables. We're trying to solve or figure out these unknowns. So we have to use the additional information in the problem to create um, an equation. So what information have we not used yet? Well, we haven't used 24 shoes. So let's go ahead and use that right now. So we can set up a nice little equation here, and here it is, x plus 3x is equal to 24, all right? So this is the mother's number of shoes plus Jen's number of shoes, right? Total number of shoes is equal to 24. Together, they have 24 shoes. All right, so at this point in the problem, really this comes down to your ability to solve this basic equation. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we have x plus 3x is equal to 24. So what do we need to do? Well, x and 3x, we need to combine like terms. That's 4x. So 4x is equal to 24. To solve for x, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 4. And here you can get, or here we get, x is equal to 6. Now, once you solve these equations in these uh, math word problems or algebra word problems, you have to stop and ask yourself, what did I just solve for? What was, you know, what does this answer represent? Well, x is equal to 6. We have to go back to where we assigned our variables. Remember, we said let x equal the number of mom shoes. So if x is equal to 6, the mother has um, uh, 6 shoes. So Jen has 3x, so she would have 3 times 6 shoes. Now, let's just kind of check this real quick. Uh, together, they have 24 shoes. What's uh, 6 plus... 18, yeah, it looks pretty good, is 24, okay? So this works out, and uh, a lot of you maybe kind of worked around, you know, played around with some integer values, um, you know, because you can't have 1.7 shoes, right? So you're going to be playing around. Maybe you said, okay, well, if the uh, mother had four shoes and Jen has three times as many, so that's four times three, that's 12, and then you got 16, that's not 24, and then maybe you kind of just played around, uh, with five, that's 15 shoes. For Jen, that's 20. So you can kind of, you know, uh, do some trial and error to figure this type of problem out. But here's the thing. If you're taking an algebra course, your teacher wants you to use algebra to solve these problems. But, it, you know, it, let's just say that you were just trying to figure out any math word problem. It could be a real life situation. Always write things down and reason through and make sure your answer makes sense. Justify it back to yourself. So anyways, uh, if you need more help uh, solving word problems, and likely if you are a student, you want to practice as many different types of word problems as you can because 
um, out, especially algebra word problems, follow all basically very common type of patterns. So the more problems you do, the better you're going to be. So a couple suggestions. I do have additional uh, videos on my YouTube channel uh, that solve all different sorts of word problems. You can check that out. Um, also, uh, if you're at the pre-algebra level, algebra one level, maybe the algebra two level or pre-calculus level, just go uh, check out my various courses in my math help program. I have a ton of word problems because word problems are also related to the topic you're studying. You could be studying quadratic equations. You're going to have quadratic equation word problems. You could be solving systems of equations. You're going to have system word problems, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, there's just not one little like, oh, we're going to solve word problems. Word problems are all over the place in mathematics um, as you're learning all different sorts of skills. But anyways, if this little video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.